Hi, I'm Stephanie and you're watching The Jewelry Find. And today we're talking about bridal jewelry. And specifically, I wanna talk about the Ever and Ever Bridal Collection. It's completely customizable. And when we're talking about a piece of jewelry that you're gonna be wearing every single day, you want it to reflect your own personal style as well as the relationship you have with your significant other. I love Ever and Ever's website. Evernever.com is so accessible. If you just go online, you can pick your stone, the setting, the shape, the size, the carat weight, and it's completely customizable. You can see it change in real time on the website, which is so cool. But if you wanna try it on in person, check out the collection at your local authorized jeweler. You can see it and try it on on your own hand. So today I've pulled a few of my favorite settings from the collection, but if there's something that you loved but you don't like the stone or you want a different shape or color or whatever, you can easily change that. All the designs are available in 14 karat or 18 karat, white, yellow, and rose gold, and platinum. So the first ring I wanna talk about is the Nicole ring. Uh, I've pulled this one here in an oval cut, although you could do it in a myriad of different styles and it actually has a very cool detail in the gallery here with a little infinity symbol in yellow gold, although the setting is in white. So it mixes and matches beautifully with any other pieces you have in your collections. It's got a little bit of a special detail, which I really love in something that's timeless like this. You can choose a myriad of different stone shapes, including round, princess cut, marquee, emerald, heart, pear-shaped, and asher. So the Aurora Ring is a great option for anyone who's looking for a classic setting with a little bit of a designer edge. I've pulled it here in rose gold, which is, I love this blush color of metal. It looks gorgeous on all skin tones. The claw prongs give it a really lovely designer detail. And I love the delicacy of the band with these tiny little diamonds just set right in there. So the entire thing really lights up and sparkles. You could do it in a princess or an oval. I love an emerald cut or an asher cut because I love the deep culet on both. It really gives you that depth of the stone. Here, it's done in a round, which is so eternally classic. So I have this thing with Art Deco jewelry, and that's probably why I love the Chelsea ring so much. Um, I've pulled it here in yellow gold, but obviously you could do it in white or platinum. Rose gold would be beautiful. I love the architectural work in the gallery. And then here it's done in an asher cut, and it's flanked on either side by these gorgeous trillion stones. It really makes a dramatic impact, I think, as an engagement piece. I love the symbolism behind the Reese ring. You've got two stones instead of one, done with a split shank. And I think that the symbolism behind that is really, really beautiful because you're melding your life with another person. So each of the stones is sort of symbolic of the partnership that you're about to form. You can do this in any number of stones, obviously. Asher cut, cushion, oval, princess. It's really up to you to choose what your personal aesthetic is for the ring. Um, you could also choose a stone size. This one's done in a really beautiful way with half carat each stone. So you get that quintessential one carat look. Um, but you could go bigger or smaller depending on your own personal choice. The Quin Ring is also indulging a little bit of my Art Deco love. It's set with two bezel set baguettes on either side and then it's got this beautiful modern halo. So it's a great way to sort of mix the old and the new styles. We've done it here with the emerald cut and that halo around it just really offsets it. Gives it a lot of sparkle because the clean lines have that sort of depth. And it's just a really lovely way to mix old and new aesthetics in your bridal collection. I wanted to pull a ring with a stone that was not a diamond because sometimes, maybe you're not a diamond girl, maybe you want something a little bit more like non-traditional. Um, and I think that the Gabriella setting is a beautiful way to do that. It's done here in rose gold with a morganite that complements the metal so beautifully. Um, it's just this blush colored stone with a blush colored metal, which is so complimentary on any skin tone. I love the softness of the setting juxtaposed with this emerald cut because you've got the clean sort of geometric lines of the stone and the soft detailing of the scroll work on the gallery. It's really just a beautiful piece. If you loved any of the looks you saw today, go to the link below and customize your own ring. Make sure to like me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, and check out my new vlog.
Thanks for watching.